I can talk now to somebody uh, on the line, Steve Garrett, uh, a witness to this. And Steve, I think I saw something from you on Twitter a few minutes ago saying that you and a number of other people were inside, was it a bakery, uh, taking shelter while you tried to find out what was going on? Yes, that's correct. We were in the uh, La Boccaretta, which is a large kind of open market area uh, just off the Ramblers, uh, when a very large number of people ran into the market area in a big kind of wave, lots of screaming, lots of shouting. Um, the security guards immediately responded. We ran into the bakery with four or five other people and ran straight upstairs and, uh, and hunkered down. Um, whilst an enormous wave of people went through the market and uh, obviously coming from, from, from England it was reminding me a great deal of what happened in London so we were very concerned about what might be going on next. Um, the lady that was with us said she heard some gunshots. Um, we, weren't, we didn't know what was going on and then a second wave of people came through with lots more kind of screaming and shouting and that was followed by armed police as they seem to sweep through the market area. They seem to be looking for something. They were going very carefully, very cautiously, stall to stall, um, and then they worked their way through the market and they disappeared up, uh, up one of the alleyways, one of the many alleyways that come off that market area. And we were basically sat there for probably half an hour, 45 minutes, um, just with sirens and lots of screaming. There were a few uh, other ways of people running from other directions. There was quite a lot of confusion on the ground as to where the problem actually was. Um, and then uh, we saw some pictures on, uh, on Twitter which showed that the, the incident happened on the Ramblers and, uh, and, and then it just went very quiet. And uh, we were told that it was all clear. And, but we've all been, everyone's been evacuated over to, uh, away from the Ramblers. So uh, we're actually outside the centre of the culture of contemporary uh, de Barcelona at the moment, which I've never been to before. And uh, yeah, so it looks lovely. So. Uh, it's astonishing just to listen to what you've told us, Steve, and what has unfolded for you in the last you know, short while, in the last few minutes. Uh, it must seem quite surreal, I imagine, somehow. Yeah, you can't, you can't help but sort of think about what could have been. We were literally about to walk out onto the Ramblers, and ironically, I spotted a very large muffin in the bakery. It sounds very, very silly now. But um, that was the reason why we actually stopped at the bakery. Um, my girlfriend's a street photographer, and, uh, and we, we thought it might make a nice picture, to be perfectly frank. And that was the reason why we weren't walking out to the Ramblers when uh, the van was walking was driving down. So um, it was uh, you, you try not to think about what could have been, but um, we were just happy to be in the right place at the right time to to be safe. Um, and uh, yeah, so a little bit shaky trying to find a bar that's open right now, to be honest. <laughs> uh, just describe for us, are, are people standing around in large groups, are people able to, to, to move away from the scene, or what's the situation at the moment? People, um, it's actually, it's returned to normality quite quickly. I mean, where I'm sat at the moment, there's some people playing basketball, uh, they all seem very calm. But the tourists are more shaken than the locals. Uh, there's large groups of tourists wandering around, everyone's a little bit lost because we've all been pushed away from the normal uh, thoroughfares where, where the tourists are going to walk. Um, so lots of people are trying to figure out how to navigate the back streets to get back to where, they, where they're going. Um, lots of, everyone's kind of nervous. There's lots of people on phones, lots of people standing at street corners, trying to talk to the police. Police are moving people away very, very quickly. They're obviously very, very concerned about secondary attacks and that kind of stuff. Um, so, it, it, you know, you can't, you can't move anywhere near Los Ramblos. There's, there's, I think it's probably two or three streets away um, before, you know, there's, there's a kind of a cordon. Um, we, where, as we were walking out of the, um, the market area, an ambulance went past us, um, and that had its sirens going, so obviously that was taking somebody who was injured. Um, we had heard a rumour that the terrorist was shot. Um, we also heard a rumour that it was one person who got out of the van, and, and they were they were kind of running through the market with the rumour that we heard, and what I saw from the police seemed to back that up. But again, these are all just it's just what we've heard from people since. There's nothing that I can say definite. Of course, um, about that. Well, Steve, we appreciate you talking to us, uh, and do take care, Steve Garrett, who uh, was caught up in the events in. Barcelona unfolding this afternoon. Uh, we're seeing a statement from the Spanish Prime Minister Mariano Rajoy.
uh, who says he's in contact with all the authorities after the Barcelona van crash. He says the priority is to attend to the injured.